Welcome back. My final tipping point tonight. The ACLU is training liberals to fight back against Trump. Disobey the law. The group is teaching cities. If you don't like President Trump's policies, pass local laws that contradict federal laws and follow your own. Yeah, this is George Soros money bankrolling the operation, by the way. The executive director of the ACLU, his name is Anthony Romero. He said priority issues for this protest training are immigration, the First Amendment free speech and religious freedom rights, civil and reproductive rights, and the rights of gay, lesbian, and transgender people. Funny, though, how the ACLU seems to forget about immigrants who support a border wall, protecting the free speech of conservatives on college campuses, the religious freedoms of Christians, and civil rights of gay, lesbian, and transgender people who support Donald Trump. Yeah. Here's my question. Where was the ACLU when gay Republican Juan Hernandez was sucker-punched, bloodied, and bullied at a Donald Trump rally in San Jose last year? Oh, that's right. The ACLU, ACLU was silent. Where was the ACLU when Baron L. Studsman, a woman, an entrepreneur, a Christian, was shut down by the government because the government didn't think Ms. Stutzman's religious beliefs were okay. Yep, nothing from the ACLU. Where was the ACLU when four black teenagers in Chicago brutally tortured a disabled white man, abusing him because he voted for Donald Trump? Nada from the ACLU. We heard nothing. Where was the ACLU when Kate Steinle was shot dead at point-blank range by an illegal immigrant who had been deported five times? I kid you not, Cecilia Wang of the ACLU almost immediately pivoted to how the incident was portrayed to show sanctuary cities in a negative light. Dismissed Kate Steinle, absolutely despicable. My question, where's the ACLU when every week it seems like a conservative speaker is banished from campus, students are harassed and threatened if they support Donald Trump, liberals on campus trained to punch Nazis and bash the fash, and a Republican student is suspended for a whole semester for recording his professor teaching that Donald Trump's election was terrorism. Stop kidding yourselves. You don't work to defend and preserve the individual rights and liberties guaranteed to every person in this country by the Constitution and laws of the United States like your mission says you do. You pick and choose who you want to defend. You ignore the unborn. You ignore women like me who choose to bear arms. You ignore Kate Steinle and Sarah Root and other ladies harmed and killed by illegal immigrants. You ignore gay conservatives. You ignore Christian business owners. You ignore students shut down on campus because they're Republican. You ignore disabled Americans if they vote for Donald Trump. Don't pretend you stand up for the rights of every American. You don't. You only stand up for people you can use as political props to force the rest of us to conform to your pseudo-socialist, you can't say it if I don't want to hear it, borderless, lawless, racially divided vision of a progressive America. Well, thank goodness we know the truth now. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us live here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.